Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and I'm TIG welder if you don't know about it. So I think my first followers in this English channel will be from my Instagram. So hey guys, finally I made first English video for you. So this week I help my husband with a S13 with a SR20 turbo engine, a real Japanese stuff. So um, we are making a full piping kit, titanium piping, and a lot of small things. I will show you whole project and um, say a few words about it. these titanium pipes ready to welding I clean it with acetone and just paper towels so it's clean inside and outside so now I'm going to weld this So pipes almost ready for install, but only this one still uh, doesn't anodize because of we need to weld the flange for blow off. So anyway, the color is so nice. Owner asked for blue. I think it looks pretty blue. Sick. Can't wait to install this and show you how it looks like on the car because it should be so cool. And um, I stay late tonight, so I was making my titanium roses. I think you saw them on my Instagram page. So yeah, that's what I do almost every evening, little by little. Something like this.
this is that project Nissan Silvia S13 so what we can see we installed the intercooler oil cooler radiator it's a ARC factory from Japan so what we made we made titanium piping kit of course looks sick I love that especially this one big guy but it's hard to see it oh god damn it looks so cool we made some brackets um, this is a bracket for fans it's hard to see it but it looks so cool Gabe made really good job so it's an oil catch can feeding like oil lines and uh, lines for this this is a uh, uh, it's I think you can see it, it's pretty dark here. So this is the lens for oil cooler. Something like that. Uh, it's pretty dark here, but we can see this is kind of roll bar or something, but it's not just a roll bar. This is titanium stuff. I think you can see it. It looks so nice and of course a lot of stuff inside yeah and and titanium exhaust to full I think yeah only down pipe stainless steel so this is it really nice car so now I really miss my JZX 110. I had a Toyota Mark II in Russia, and it was original Tower V with one JZ turbo. And here, I don't know how you guys live here. For me, it's so strange that you don't have on your market real Japanese cars. American cars have, uh, Japanese American cars have strange engines for me. So, hope I can find something nice here. Now, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about myself because I have a lot of questions on Instagram. So. First of all, yes, I am Russian and I moved to US like about four or five months ago. Uh, yes, I am a professional welder. I was working in Russia about five years uh, about welding school. So to be honest, yes, of course I went to welding school, but it, it was super useless, super useless. It's like three months and uh, I knew like this big. Like this big like nothing so and uh, it was only mig and stick welding so uh, no TIG welding at all I didn't know how to do it first of all I found work um, we made kind of it's hard to explain you guys because in Russia we have a lot of different stuff you don't have it here so it doesn't matter so i was working like mig welding about a month and after finally um it was kind of lucky accident for me i found a um, factory and they they tell me like okay just let's go and try we need tech welder so it was my first step in tech welding i didn't know like nothing and uh, in the first day, I made big result. I showed myself that I can do a lot of things. So yes. And finally, I found 
like real TIG welder work on the um, trains factory. Yeah, I made a lot of stuff for big, big fucking trains. <laughs> and that's so funny. Anyway, so, and it's, it was really, really good time because I had a lot of practice. And uh, everything that I can do now, everything that I can understand and uh, my knowledge, it's only on my um, experience, only experience. So I, I never, I've never learned tick welding, like never. So um, I will try to help you and um, maybe I can try to explain you some things and tricks of tick welding because I have a lot of questions about it. But for now, my English is pretty poor <laughs> and I'm trying to practice more, to talk more and uh, can explain more. That's the problem. Anyway, now you know who I am. And um, finally, uh, I'm starting to make in my English content and I hope you will like it.